Tonight on the show, the star of Snakes on a Plane. You know when people are on a flight and snakes suddenly appear from nowhere. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! For fun, uh, one of those snakes was real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a cracking lineup for you tonight. Yes, the world's coolest movie star, Samuel L. Jackson, on our show. <laughs> yes. Star of extras, writer and actor Stephen Merchant is here. <laughs> Loving Stephen Merchant. Brilliant, funny American comedian Amy Schumer is in our show. Yes, she is. We've got music from the fantastic Muse. Muse. Quite the show. Quite the show, ladies and gentlemen. Quite the show. It's a, a very warm welcome return to the show for Samuel L. Jackson, star of such great movies as Pulp Fiction, Avengers, and, of course, Snakes on a Plane. Uh, great movie. It spawned a whole host of similar films, you know, uh, Coyote on a Train, <laughs> Buffalo in a Car, <laughs> and Cat on Crystal Meth. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> do you know, I like to think, on my couch tonight, I've got almost as many stars as in the final of Britain's Got Talent. <gasps> Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Did you see it? Did you see the final? <laughs> oh, the winner, of course, the one that will be performing in front of the Queen, is a dog that can steal sausages. <laughs> I have to say, the dog was great. That stripper, eh, not so much. <laughs> uh, the big story is the scandal over the use of a secret stunt double dog. Mm. It looks like the Speciality Dog Act may now not perform at the Royal Variety Show. <laughs> <laughs> ITV deny there was any wrongdoing and awarded an investigation led by someone with the highest moral standards. <laughs> Of lovelies. Oh, oh, happy people, nice people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on a date. We're together. <laughs> oh, Stephen, minutes in. Always the bridesmaid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, very welcome, very welcome. Uh, it's first time for Amy. Uh, hello. Hugging a black person? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you so much. No, and is it your first time in England? Yes. Are you liking it so far? Yes, from what I can remember. Okay, good, yes. good, good. So what's your favorite thing about your first time being in the UK? Good question, Sam. What are you digging? <laughs> what are you um, digging the most? The steering wheel on the wrong side or walking on the wrong side of the street or almost being killed because you look the wrong fucking way when you turn? <laughs> Pedestrians are stupid, though. Like, they write, look left, you <laughs> idiot. You know, like, it says it right there on that's the sidewalk. That's for tourists. That's not for pedestrians. Oh. <laughs> not for the natives. Well, they, they know. know I'm an idiot, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, just eating my own body weight and uh, drinking it every day has been... Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, you feel right at home. Oh, good. Because, you know, uh, Samuel, I would say welcome to, the, to Britain, but you spend a lot of time here. Yes. Normally filming in London, but this time you've been filming further afield. Uh, well, I... I... <laughs> yeah, I've been shooting in Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, 
Samuel has very kindly uh, taken photographic evidence. Uh, you've taken some selfies. Uh, now, where is this in Blackpool? And is that you? The... <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm that is you. Okay. That's my signature. So, uh, actually, I'm a little high in the picture. I'm usually in the corner. That's, that's a... from my room. That's a lovely bit of Blackpool. Yeah, uh... that's, the, that's, the, that's the street that runs along the side of my room. Okay. And then we've got the view from the Blackpool Tower. Yes. Okay. You look. You look superimposed in this picture. It looks like you're not really there. But I got these dope ass glasses on, so you know it's real. Yeah. And then, then this is. I th again, you just about make it into this selfie. You've taken a picture of yourself outside Fleetwood. Uh, there's the ear. But the sign was really good. <laughs> uh, uh, this, I don't believe this. Fleetwood, where breastfeeding is always welcome. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened in Fleetwood? That's a real sign? Yes! <laughs> See, that's, the we it. that's the welcome to Fleetwood sign. <laughs> Yeah, what what, what age just... do you have to be to breastfeed in Fleetwood? It's you always welcome. Anywhere, 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 anytime. Anywhere, yeah. 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 And we when were they just driving you... down the highway, I said, oh, stop the car now. <laughs> 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 you have to take a photo of this. <laughs> and then we went into town to just see how many bare breasts were hanging out, just, you know. <laughs> but I don't... What, what, something must have happened in Fleetwood that that sign is there. I have no idea. Well, we must Google it. We should, in fact, we should have before maybe, tonight. Yeah. yeah, we should have. It's absolutely it's real. I, no, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Now, that's you taking selfies. Yes. But, of course, now, Amy, you know, we'll talk about Trainwreck, the, the movie, but, of course, there's the TV show inside Amy Schumer on mm -hmm. Comedy Central and all these things. So now you get invited to red carpets and things. Yes. And, and literally on red carpets. Is this you? This is the time... <laughs> the time... The time 100 most influential people in the world ever. You're one of them. How did this happen? I don't recall that. Um, <laughs> I uh, was, yeah, they, I was one of the 100 most influential people, even though no one here has heard of me. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was on the red carpet. And you know when you're doing interviews and the, the person sees somebody more important behind you? Which is always for me. It's like being at a party and there's a hotter girl behind you, and they're just like, Ugh, like they just want you to drop dead. <laughs> and, uh, so I saw the reporter do that, and all the reporters were going crazy. And it was Kim and Kanye, and just standing there, just like owning it, just like being like short and important. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I just couldn't help. I, I like think falling is the funniest thing. So I just, I just took a dive in front of them. <laughs> and, like, I now, did, did you Photographers miss the moment when Kanye broke a smile. Or... No, no, they did not. That did not happen. And I must say, there's a follow-up picture where I love that, like, you're struggling for help in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been a drowning child. He was just walking. I was. Yeah, no, he did not crack a smile at any point. And then I talked to them after I saw them, and I said to Kim, um, I was like, oh, sorry. I... You know when you're, like, in front of a celebrity, I just become such a flake. I was just saying things I didn't mean. I'm like, you and your sisters, are just inspiring. And like, are you hiring a dash? And, uh, <laughs> and like, just nonsense. And, uh, and Kanye, like, was smiling at me, like, but like, as if you programmed a robot to smile. Like, he was just like, uh, like, uh. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, but there's no way that either of them had any idea who I am. So that was comforting. Or why you're on the floor. In front yes. of them. <laughs> Teen ad. Like my, I look pretty good. No, you look great. Pretty good. I lucked out. A boob could have fallen out. Yeah. I really. This should be your red carpet pose always. That's what I should. Yeah. <laughs> Just crawl the red carpet every I'm time. I'm gonna do it. Awesome. Thanks, man. Uh -huh. Now, Stephen, do you like having your picture taken? Uh, no. <laughs> really. I. Uh, funny enough, on the red carpet thing. Reminds me, um, the first time we, uh, we went to the Golden Globes... <clears throat> wow. Yeah. No, no, baby, no, baby. Excuse me. Well, you want <laughs> You don't want one of those. No. <laughs> it's golden. <laughs> um, but we, uh, we went along, it was for the office, and it was the British Virgin. We'd never been to anything as glamorous as, or as exciting as that. We got to, to do the red carpet, and all these super famous people were there. Maybe Sam was there, I don't know. And, um... And then they, we won, miraculously, and everyone had told us, you will not win, there's no way, just go and have the free booze and the food and enjoy yourself. So we're there, and um, they call our names, and 
it was crazy, and if you look at the camera footage now, if you look at the... They, we were on a table so far away from the stage, because <laughs> no one expected us to win. And so the camera's kind of looking for us, <laughs> and it can't see us, and then eventually, sort of, Ricky's little face pops up, <laughs> and then I sort of come out like a giant... <laughs> Honda, and, sort of, and we sort of fight our way to the stage, and the announcer has no idea who we are, so he's just said, uh, and he, because Ricky's last name is French Canadian, the, the announcer says, uh, coming to the stage, Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, anyway, so they, they, they take our picture, we have all these photos taken, and then uh, everyone says, You're going to be in the paper uh, Monday, uh, in the British paper. And I was very excited, it was the first time I'd ever been in the paper before, and I was super psyched. Uh, as we say in America, and um, <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, we, we well, had a photo, and and, uh, and oh, you've got it. Well, we've got the picture. Well, see if you can spot the the reason why I was a little bit disappointed by my first appearance in a national paper. Hmm. Okay, this is it. He's like, what do they want to see? They want to see, they want to see these guys. They want to see these bald heads in the bottom. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Samuel, you're back in the UK uh, to promote your charity, One for the Boys. Yes. And uh, this is uh, where you're highlighting men's health issues, a particular testicular cancer. Well, not in particular testicular cancer, but the fact that um, men tend not to pay attention to bumps and pains that they have, and we want guys to understand that, you know, men get breast cancer. Men get throat cancer, men get stomach cancer, men get, you know, not ovarian cancer, but, you know, every, every cancer that women we get. We still got that men one. We <laughs> get testicular cancer. All, all, right, right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> but um, the fact that we want guys to pay more attention to their bodies and to get out and get themselves checked. But I know you've got some, you've got some big fundraisers coming up. You've fundraiser got... next Friday is the Fashion Ball. Next Thursday, we've got um, a golf tournament, you know, coming up. Um, Stanley Tucci is going to host the Fashion Ball with me. We're kicking off Men's Fashion Week with I the uh, One for the Boys. You love Stanley? Yeah. Stanley's awesome. He's the best. But it's not just fashion. You've got amazing music acts at the... Isn't Sia doing it? They told... Somebody told you that? Oh, That's the secret, isn't it? Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she is. <laughs> okay, everyone. Not a word. Not a word. <laughs> yes, yes. Now I'm nervous. Is. Now yeah. I don't feel like I can't say any names. No, she's performing. Okay. It's, it was, it was, it was, it was great for, great of her to say yes. Because so this is the, the Camden Round. We're actually thrilled. So yes, it is. Sia and Paolo Nettini and people like that in. So you know more about it than I do. Yeah, well, it's, 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 the twelfth is next Friday, isn't it? Next Friday. Okay, there. I'll be yeah. there. Uh, look, we've got just to, to whip you into a frenzy. We've got uh, uh, some highlights of last year's fashion ball. <laughs> <laughs> Change had much to say, but man, I still think them cats are great. They were asking if you were around, how you was, where you could be found. I told them you were living downtown, driving all the old men crazy. Are you, are you really excited? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's actually really great that we get um, all the celebrity guys, because it's men's fashion, we, we actually get celebrity guys to do the runway. So they wear designer's clothes and they walk the runway. And, you know, for most of us, it was our first time. Well, I'd done it before, but yeah, most of them hadn't. Built. Really? Built for the catwalk. Are you saying I have the body of a model? Yes. <laughs> you mean a female model, though, don't you? You mean a skinny. <laughs> Focus on that. Like, who cares about gender anymore? No, those legs are built for catwalk Thank walking. You. Appreciate that. Wow. Yeah, they are. Look at them. Is that all you? That's all me. Oh my god. <laughs> all me. Wow. There, there he is. <laughs> yeah. No, could you do it? Because look have, at that. Have you done catwalk? Have I done catwalk? Yeah. Um, let me just think. Um, have I done catwalk modelling? Have I done catwalk modelling? Uh, no, no, let me think about yeah, that. Yeah, reach in. Have reach. I... I've done a lot of stuff. One, two golden globes. Reach that apparently doesn't impress anyone. But, um, <laughs> no, I haven't done catwalk walk. No? No. Oh. But you have... Haven't you developed... Have you developed a special corridor walk? Well, I... You know, I have specific, uh, walks for different 
environments, certainly, um, <laughs> because of the height. Um, uh -huh. So yes, I went to the <laughs> I went to the doctor, and he told me that um, I had to stop bending as I went through doing this as I went through doorways because I could get curvature of the spine. Oh no! So um, yes, because obviously when I'm because most doors sort of come to there on me, so I have to do that. <laughs> to get through there. And he said, don't do that. He said, bend at the knee instead. <laughs> so I've had, I sort of have a different... When I go through doors, yeah. I have to sort of... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. I think yeah. catwalk. Which That's is, catwalk. It's, it's That's very catwalk. Glamorous. It's glamorous, isn't it? And it's not the coolest way. Like, if I have to exit, I have to sort of subtly... Well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm out, and no one, no one knows. Option. Uh, yeah, I use the limbo for the different... Matrix. Just go. I oh, mean, the that's... Matrix entrance. Yeah, the Matrix entrance. <laughs> just walk through. Were you in the Matrix? No, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I could limbo. You, you limbo through doors. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. yeah, when you see that back, you'll think, yeah, I must do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> you presumably you do photo shoots now, Amy. Have you done the modeling? Have you done the actual? Um, well, actually, now when. I meet someone, I say, I'm a model, just to see them go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that for you. Uh, I have done no modeling, but yeah, now to promote stuff, it's a photo shoot, and you know, it's totally humiliating. They, they dress you up like a dickhead. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you look lovely. Okay, thank you. You did. Much. Who were you wearing when you were laying on the carpet? Oh, it was blue. I suck. I don't know. I don't ever know. Who that was? I oh, Who's David Meester. Oh, there you go. See? Because I got yelled at Things for not knowing. Things you have to know. Yes. Who, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Gap body underwear. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> when we uh, when we did the when we did that Golden Globes thing, um, uh, one of oh one my of, god, uh, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have Amy. <laughs> Well, we, we actually, I'm not He left I'm, the house I'm, once. <laughs> I'm not joking. We phoned up. Or we, phoned, we had someone phone up Armani to say if they would, they would uh, outfit us. And they went, no. Oh, <laughs> you know, we don't want that clothes worn by you people. Uh, but, here's, but here's the thing. Uh, old friends, Stephen and Samuel, of course, you work together on extras. That's right. Now, was Samuel, was Samuel the very first... <laughs> You were Very in it. Very memorable for you. You were in it with him. Yeah, yeah, I know I was in it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Did we do a scene together? Are no. we in that scene? No, we didn't do a scene together, but you I was one of the, the directors. Episode? Yeah, I was directing the episode. Oh. I can't... You know what? Well, it's the sun was out today. That was cool. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember that day? Because what was funny, we'd never worked with a movie star before. This was the first time, and Sam had a, a, a very graciously agreed to uh, to do it. And he was the reason, actually, that we could get other stars because we would say, "Look, we got Sam Jackson." And so we didn't publicize this, but this was. <laughs> but, um, but this, I was wondering from the other side of it because we were all on, uh, we were all sort of in there waiting, and um, and we were kind of getting everything ready and sort of setting up lights and everything. And then suddenly, someone starts going. Uh, Sam Jackson's left his trailer. Sam's left his trailer. He is walking towards the set. Are you aware that there's this that they treat you like the president as your? It's he knows. incredible. It was. Yeah. And it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but it was much because we were all chattering away, and, blah, 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 and then as soon as the door opened and you came in, silence. Was it just? Was it kind of? Is it weird? Is it creepy? No, you expect that. Yeah. 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 You demand yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't demand it. It just happens, and I end up being the one trying to make people feel like, hey, I'm just like you. Let's let's work. Yeah, you know, have some fun, and I'm 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 there to enjoy myself, you know. And I try to make it as easy as I can for everybody else when I get there. You know, and yeah. that's why I know my lines, I hit my mark, and I fuck off when it's when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> should we should we delight ourselves by showing a little clip? Yeah. Here's the clip. I, mean, I, I don't normally watch films more than once, but I thought The Matrix. I, I loved it. it was amazing. It's a good film. Good film. That's all she's saying. Yes. And you were brilliant in it. Oh. I wasn't in that one. Wasn't it? There you were. You should know. No, you were in The Matrix. He was the main one. No, no, no. I can assure you I was not in The Matrix. But Lawrence Fishburne was. Maybe that's why you're confused. I know what you're thinking. She doesn't think you all look alike. <laughs> I actually just had that very same experience the other day. I was in Berlin um, 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I went to a restaurant Sunday night, and when I walked in, somebody at another table went, oh, my God, it's Denzel. And <laughs> I just kind of looked out the corner of my eye, and I moved on. We got to our table. The guy behind us turned around and went, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not Morgan Freeman. Yeah, yeah, come on, you're Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, I guarantee you I'm not Morgan Freeman. Oh, my God. Took my phone out, Google Morgan Freeman, put his picture up, and did that. And the guy was like, yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, those witty children. Oh, my God. What up? Uh, Amy Schumer has a movie. And it's oh. called Trainwreck. Now, you didn't direct it. John Apatow did that. But you right. did write it. Yes, I did. But is it true you didn't write it for yourself? Yeah. But who was going to be you then? Well, you know, I thought they would just put, like, a modely actress. Why not? Yeah, right. Let's get Caitlin in there. Um, I, uh... <laughs> Was that a controversial... Or are you going to Um, yeah, well, you know, I've been auditioning my whole life, and they, they say, like, uh, you're close. You're still in the mix. They, but they, they needed somebody really funny, so they gave it to Jessica Biel. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah she's hilarious. Um... <laughs> Or like Olivia Wilde. Like, one day you'll have her chops. So I just thought, you know, they put a beautiful actress in it, and like Blake Lively, and I'd just be on set with like a messy bun and a laptop. Like, um, Miss Lively, the line is like, my pussy hurts. And, um, <laughs> great movie. Yeah, great description. Yeah, and, this is all my. <laughs> this, yes. And, uh, and then she'd be like, why is there a garden gnome here? But they were like, no, we want you <laughs> in the movie. But they, um, they were, yeah, I was like, oh my God, you want me in the movie? And they, they were like, yeah, you just have to do three things. They were like, be yourself, have fun, and stop eating food. And I was like, wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, so they got me like a trainer, and I've never had a trainer before. And uh, he, uh, <laughs> he like is the guy who trains everybody, like all of the Hemsworths, the says, and. Um, <laughs> You know, Megan Fox and like an actual fox, like just anybody <laughs> hot. This guy's gotten his mitts I'd probably on. work out with him. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like when it. I saw those legs, I was like, <laughs> um, and uh, he took me through the diet, you know. Well, first he asked me questions. He was like, How many drinks do you have in a week? And just like for the hell of it, I was like, I'm just gonna be honest, you know. I was like, 36. <laughs> and he's like, No alcohol. And I'm like, yeah. No alcohol, right, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, what do you eat? Like, take me through a day. And he stopped me at noon. <laughs> <laughs> He'd heard enough. <laughs> and yeah, he just walked me through my new plan. He's like, for breakfast, you'll have a smoothie. And then for lunch, you'll journal about that smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> it was... You know what you always tell trainers? What? My you work for me. Oh, really? <laughs> You can be replaced. <laughs> yeah, but that, I am that not works. you. That works coming from you. From if you. I say that, yeah. <laughs> Mother, you, you. All right, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want that to be my ringtone. You know when they go, yeah, one more. Come on, one more. I got, I've given you all I'm giving you. You ask me for another one, you're fired. <laughs> That's all. No. <laughs> ah. Hey, uh, so um, we're, we're back to the movie. It's called Trainwreck. It opens 14th of August. Yes. Now, it is a romantic comedy, but quite a lot of it isn't that romantic. What? Well, it's very funny. Thank you. Yeah. Do you mean the worst sex scenes you've ever seen in your life? Well, they're the most realistic sex scenes. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> in my experience, yes. Are the random dates all taken from your... For life. my real life? Yeah. No, I wish. I haven't gotten laid in a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Amy in the movie is way more active than the real Amy. But um, dating for me, like, I, you know, I'm not dating right now. And not just because I'm not totally out of the woods with this UTI I'm dealing with, but also... <laughs> <laughs> dating sites like I don't have any you know I, I, I'm on a, an app called food spotting which is like tinder but for food <laughs> so it'll tell you about like low foods in your area so like just like tinder you're like I was looking at this one scone and I was like <laughs> yes and, uh, I was like should I go my friends are like go I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Are you, do you do dating apps? 
Do you do dating the apps? Sites? No, I, no. I, I, I'm too terrified of it's like of the thing. Yeah, the right. And just and I just, I've just been rejected. It's a really low tech dating site called Life. Oh, <laughs> you try that one? people would connect yeah. with yeah, each other in person. You, you know, you're walking down the street. The guy goes, "Hey," and you go, "What the fuck do you want?" <laughs> Shit. I mean, people are so used to like texting and meeting online that if a guy goes, Wow, hey, you go, What's wrong with you? No, yeah. you are wrong. In my 20s, I would it's like do the that. the worst shit in the world. Because in your 20s, I feel like, you know, if I walk past a construction site and, you know, guys are like, Woo, I was like, How dare you? Like, my secret parts. But then. <laughs> and these are men with jobs now. I know. Guys with jobs. Well, in my 30s, I'm walking by and I'm just like, What about this? <laughs> Let's have a look at a, a clip from Trainwreck. Now, this, this is, so you've been on lots of your random encounters. What a nice way of putting that. I thought it was quite nice, <laughs> tastefully put. And, uh, and this is when it, one of those is about to turn into romance. Oh, my God. He's calling. Why would he call? You guys just had sex. It's probably a mistake. It's, yeah. it's a mistake. He's, he's butt dialing you. Hello? Oh, hey there. It's, it's Aaron. Oh, uh, this is Amy. I think you butt dialed me. No, no, I, I, I dialed you with my finger. What'd she say? What'd she say? Shh. He called me on purpose. Hang up. He's obviously like sick or something. So he's do um, Yeah, what's up? I was calling to say I had a really good time last night. I was wondering if you wanted to um, hang out again. Will you say that again, please? I was wondering if I could see you again. You know what? I'm going to call the police. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just talk to you about it tomorrow at the interview. OK? Oh, yes. She's okay. She's Bye. All right, all right, I'll talk to you then. Oh, man. Uh huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> so now, when it comes to dating, though, as we were saying, you know, technology makes it harder and everything, but people, I think, have always gone to extremes uh, to meet ladies. Because Samuel L. Jackson, when you were, was you in college? Yeah. You did something quite extreme to meet ladies. Oh, I wasn't, yeah, I, I, I became a cheerleader. Now, see, uh, that's... What? That's, what? Yeah. Now, see, that seems quite an out-there thing to do, well, to meet a woman. Uh, well, it wasn't necessarily just to meet a woman. It was so I could travel to all the places that the team went oh, to God. meet women. Ah. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. Smart. I was going to all these other schools, and hey. But did you have pom-poms and stuff? I had a megaphone. <laughs> yeah. I bet the girls, you did. The girls, the, yeah, the girls had pom-poms, but... I went to an all-male school. Across the street was an all-woman school, Spelman. So we got our cheerleader, our female cheerleaders from there. So I was the only guy who volunteered to be a cheerleader that year. So I talked my roommate into doing it, and he was like, wow, this is awesome. We get to pick all the girls. So we picked them, and we got to travel to all these other schools to meet women. Which was totally dope. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great plan. You're such a awesome. player. <laughs> yeah, this is genius. But, but did you have you to have then to have to do cheerleading? Did you have to do the chants and we stuff? We did some cheers, but basically we would go, I mean, my roommate and I would go, hey, gang, hey, gang. And then the girls would do the cheer, and they'd do some flips, and we'd like... <laughs> <laughs> We weren't, we weren't picking them up or holding them up or any of that shit, you know. You were just at the side going, hey, gang. Yeah, that was, that was basically it, you know. And every now and then, we do, you know, some cheers like, you know, Edward, Edward, he's our man. If he can't do it, fuck it. <laughs> and the crowd would laugh, and we'd be like, yeah. You're like cheerleading comedians. You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh. Now, uh, we must mention to the world, Stephen Merchant is in a play, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. An actual posh play. Yeah. Oh. In the actual West End. The, the West, West End. End. It's yeah. called uh, The Mentalists. Uh, it opens on the 3rd of July at the Wyndham Theatre, which That's is a proper right. theatre. It's Very not even proper. one of the scuzzy ones in the West End. It's a proper, <laughs> proper West End theatre. And now, here's the thing. So it's your West End debut. That's right. But not only that, is it... True, this is sort of the first play you've ever been in. Yes, essentially. I mean, there were some school plays. Yeah, where everyone, they were all in school plays. Yeah. They're not in the West End. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yes, it's the first play. Scary? Yeah, well, yeah, a little. I mean, I've done, you know, I've done big stand-up shows and things, so I'm used to being on stage, and yeah. I've done acting on the telly and stuff, so I'm thinking, put those two together, how hard can it be? 
Um, <laughs> and I'm assuming. Third of July. Can... Third of July, everybody. <laughs> I'm assuming you can take the script on stage. I'm assuming that of I do. Yeah, yeah, they have a teleprompter. Yeah. Yeah. They have a teleprompter. Yes, That's yes. fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And it's good, I just, you know, I, I, people occasionally say, would you do a play? And nothing had ever come along, really, that I thought I could do. And then this one came along, and it's quite a sort of uh, a dark uh, comedy, but with, you know, with lots of great one-liners and some physical stuff as well. And, and, uh, and I sort of play a guy who is trying to set up his own sort of alternative society. He's, he's, he's read a book, and he thinks, I could, I could do this. And um, sort of Russell Brand-esque. Brandian, <laughs> but not as not cool as Russell, but um, more like more in the li in the line of those sort of um, those kind of right wing, slightly awkward, uh, slightly sort of um, uh, reactionary comedy characters like you know Basil Fawlty or Alan Partridge or uh, Nigel Farage, you know those sort of those. <laughs> sort of <types. laughs> and, um, and it's just, it's just it sort of chimes with the things that I'm kind of interested in, in sort of these, you know, in suburban people sort of trying to make something of their lives. And it's a, it's a two-hander. It's a two-hander, and uh, with an excellent actor called Stefan Rodri, and uh, it's very fun, and, um, and as I say, kind of, it's got some pathos and some drama, and hopefully will, you know, will be a proper bit of acting. Now, here's the thing. I'm assuming you read the script before you said yes. Well, I did, but I'm an actor now, and so that really just involves checking how many lines you get to yeah. say, doesn't me, it? You me, just, you just, me, 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 me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, because didn't you miss something quite vital? I did miss something, yes, I, I, I agreed to do it, and then a woman tweeted me and she said, I've read the play, um, are you going to be doing the nudity? Ow! Pardon? What? <laughs> um, and apparently, yes, I'm supposed to be, uh, it says naked in the script, won't be getting naked. What? Oh, obviously not, obviously not, because it's not with... You can't have nudity yes. on. No! Yes. You want to go to another award show? Yeah, you want to... I'm not You'll getting naked. Getting naked. There's no... Re I am, there's, there is nobody <laughs> in, who goes naked. to the theatre. I don't care how classy you are as a theatre girl. I don't care whether you like Shakespeare, whether you can quote Shakespeare. If a cock comes on stage, you look at the cock. You look at the penis, <laughs> you're not listening to the lines. They're all going to be putting the pound in for the little red glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I think you I, gotta do it. No, why? Full I nakes. do too. People people don't, come on. Nakes. Nick, full nakes. Uh, people don't want to see me naked. They don't want to see. No, I, I want to see. No, 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 no. Right no. Now. <laughs> but Amy, you say he should get his clothes off. Yeah. Interestingly, in your film, it is the men who get their clothes off. Huh, you noticed that, didn't yes, you? Yes, I really did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought, it, you know, it's our turn to see some ass. <laughs> I've been naked on stage many times. Have you? Um, yes, and and behind the pole, like, you can barely <laughs> see... <laughs> no, I've been in, in plays where I've gotten naked, um, where, yeah, you feel like it's called for. I would, like, in college, get all the roles of, like, oh, well, Schumer will take her shirt off. Uh, <laughs> but, um... called for? I don't understand. When is it called for? How it's is called it... for sometimes. How is it called for? I don't understand Did how you see it's... the graduate? Vulnerability. Yes. Te but it's teach acting. Him. It's pretending. You don't need to see my... my junk. Yes, we do. You just <laughs> lost a ticket. Sell for me. Yeah. We were gonna go. You gotta be comfortable naked, and then you have I'm to check yourself for lumps. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. But what? Right back. Right yeah. back. Listen, uh, very quickly, Stephen, you did a whole show about meeting women. Yeah. So, do you consider yourself sort of an expert Not at this stage? Not at all. Goodness no? me, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, I, I've learned nothing over the years. I, no, I'm slightly better now because I'm a bit more confident than I was. But it's certainly in the early years, growing up, I just, you know, I think I was, I, I you know, I ne there were, women never gave me invitations or asked me. If I'm honest with you, let me be honest, and this was the sort of nugget of my show in a sense. Um, and listen, to, hear me out before you judge. And the same here. Okay. It just seems to me sometimes, particularly when you're younger. In the, and just listen, hear me out first. It just sometimes seems in the dating scene, it can feel like, initially, it's the guy who's doing quite a lot of the work. <sighs> Careful, Steve, sounds a bit sexist. <laughs> Calm down, sweetheart, let me explain. <laughs> it just... Hey. No, it just, it just, it just feels, and I think again, I think if you're George Clooney or something, you know, girls come up and they're like, hey, George, blah, blah. but I think if you're a kind of awkward guy from Bristol, it feels like you're the guy who's got to go up to the girl, excuse me, I'm going to take you out, and do you have to pay for the meal? Um, well, I hear how you feel. Okay. And, um, I acknowledge that. Thank you, I respect that. Um... <laughs> I respect you as a woman. Thank you. I'm so, I want this conversation to end with us both getting along really well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I... Feel okay. I feel like um, <laughs> as a woman, mm -hmm. 
Which I respect. Thank, yes. <laughs> All the parts. Um, I mean, I can't go to Fleetwood for the weekend, but I am a woman. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you need to enjoy that time before you put out. Because Before once, I put out? No, as okay. a woman. As a woman. You gotta, like, I mean, if someone holds my hand, they wind up inside me. I've never held out. <laughs> Those hours, precious Sorry, we hours. Didn't shake. We didn't shake. <laughs> but it's also, also if, if from the boy, from the, you know, when you're in biology class, it's always, I, it's, it always seems like it's the man doing the work there. Like, so they always say, you know, uh, oh, when, uh, when you're, if you're lucky enough to meet a woman that you truly love and you get married, and then, because we were very, Ernest and asshole. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you know, the, the penis is inserted into the vagina. Um, you never hear it. It's never the other Talk way around. slower. <laughs> <laughs> the penis mm. is inserted into the vagina. vagina. Is the, is the... See, it was explained differently in America. Oh, really? They say the vagina engulfs the penis. Engulfs the penis. <laughs> 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 The labium envelops the schlong. Yes. <laughs> that is right. That's generally not the girl you want to go out with. It's there on blushes. It's time for our musical performance tonight. They're Grammy winners. They've sold over 17 million albums. They've topped the charts in 21 countries. And they're here performing their new single, Mercy. Please welcome Muse. <laughs>
was phenomenal. You could feel oh. the heat of those flames over oh, here. It's amazing what we can do with a little British gas and a blowtorch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you must feel a bit cooked after that. Totally, yeah. It's yeah. Warm. It's yeah. Warm up there, yeah. We need yeah. that in the festival to keep us, you know, keep us warm basically. So is that the kind of stage show you're gonna be doing at the festivals and stuff? Well we're definitely gonna take that to Donington where all the metalers are, you know, so we're gonna give them as much fire as possible. Loving it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, I, just before I forget, I just mentioned that is off the new album Drones out the eighth yep. of June. And this is seventh album. Yep, we're getting long in the tooth. Yeah, no, I was in my head, news, <laughs> new band. No, seven yeah. albums in. <laughs> and also, do you know what I like? This is very American, I think. It's a good thing. We've just got this is our best ever album. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. It's good. That's you definitely should, true. It's you definitely should true. Yeah. think yeah. that. The first six albums were just kind of long winded foreplay of some kind to get to this point. And we've <laughs> uh, we're all used to that. <laughs> don't, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> so what others you're doing? Is it Download Festival you're doing? Yep, and we're Download, doing a bunch around Europe. Yeah, loads around Europe, and we're touring for about a year or something. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely come back. We'll definitely come back here next year and do some of our own shows at some point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gold do. Go and come yep. back and see us. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, that was amazing. Uh, Muse, everybody. Thank really you. great. <laughs> hey, before we go, uh, let's make this week's visit to the big red chair. Okay, Ooh. who's there? Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Vicky. Vicky, and where do you live, Vicky? Um, I live in London, but I'm from Birmingham. Oh, right, very good. Uh, oh, Birmingham got a, a massive cheer there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what do you do? Um, I work in marketing for a financial client. Okay. Mm -hmm. not keeping it vague. Drug deal. Very shady. <laughs> it, Drug it's, deal. It's, it's not great marketing. A financial <laughs> thing. Financial <laughs> client. Yeah, yeah. Right. I won't say too much. You don't want to know too much about it. Uh, okay, off you go with your story. Um, so, I was on a sailing holiday with an ex-boyfriend and his parents. Um, and one, <laughs> one evening, um, we decided to have some drinks on the deck. Um, and after a little while, somebody suggested that everybody jumps into the middle of the sea and does a bit of skinny dipping. Um, after the first... Wait a minute, with his parents? <laughs> At the time, I didn't Nasty. think it was weird. <laughs> um, so I swam over to my boyfriend to hold on to him, to catch my breath, and thought, you know, it's it's the sea and it's dark and oh, skinny no. dipping, no. so no. have some fun. Um, oh. so Vicky, shut up! As I, <laughs> um, as I attempted to do whatever it was that I may or may not have done, um, he looked round and actually his dad looked back at me and said, like father, like son, eh? Oh! Oh, that's so good You can go on that by website at this very event. Thank you so much for my guest tonight. It's Muse, everybody! <laughs> Stephen Merchant! <laughs> Amy Schumer! with singer-songwriter Cindy Lauper, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane, and he's back. It's my favorite actor, Mark Wahlberg, on the show. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> A life of crime on the Costa del... somewhere. Bradley Walsh and Kay Van Novak are on the run and having a ball. New comedy, Sun Trap, next.